Every once in a while I get an email from somebody asking if they can use a clip of one of my videos to include in one of theirs. I have no problems with anybody doing this. Feel free to copy or alter any of my material. You're actually helping me by doing so. Now, why did I come to Islam? When I was a Christian, I read the Bible, and after reading the Bible, I found it to be very illogical, confusing, I found things that uh, didn't sound very ethical, and things that were not befitting of God, for example, that God would sleep, things like that. So after reading the Bible, um, and watching a lot of debates between Christians, and other religions, I was starting to feel my faith get really shaky. Um, so, it was probably at that point where I started drifting away from Christianity and starting to reject a lot of the ideas that are found within the Bible. And I had done a lot of studying about Islam. Basically, my intentions were to prove it wrong. And I went to a mosque one day. I didn't even know they had mosques in my city, but I found it on the internet. And I was very surprised to learn that there was a mosque in my city. So I went there and asked for a Quran. I offered to buy it, but they gave it to me for free. And I started reading it. But before I read it, I basically just sat down on my couch and, you know, just sincerely prayed to God that you would guide me to the straight path. Whatever it is, doesn't really matter. I just would like to know the truth. And, you know, looking down at this book, I really didn't think that this book was the truth because I just thought it came from a 7th century uh, Arab who was crazy or demon-possessed or something like that. And so... When I was getting ready to read it, I was thinking, I was expecting a similar book to that of the Bible. I was expecting it to be very, very confusing, uh, requiring a lot of explanations. I was expecting to find mistakes in it. I was expecting to find contradictions in it. And I was expecting it to basically make no sense. Uh, because that was my experience with the Bible. And I felt the Bible was the most superior book and the Quran to be lesser, so I was even expecting it maybe even to be a little bit worse than the Bible. I was expecting it to be um, very unethical in its treatment of women and treatment of elderly and, and basically the weaker, weak people of society that can't defend themselves. I was expecting it to sort of be cruel to those people because the way the media portrays it is that's how Muslims are acting, which is not the truth. So I was, I was making the assumption because that's the way Muslims are acting, which really in reality they aren't, then that's probably because their book is teaching them to do that. So anyways, I... I sat down on my couch and I was looking at this book and it was very beautiful. It had, uh, you know, gold designs on the outside. It was hardcover. And I was very thankful that I got it for free. I felt a little bit guilty in taking it for free because um, I had really no desire to come to Islam because, basically because from what I've seen on the media, and so anyways, I started, I opened it up, and I started reading it, and I was uh, really shocked even from the first chapter that I read, the opening. It was very beautiful, and I thought to myself, you know, who writes a book like this? This is, this is very interesting. And the more I read, the more I got intrigued with it. And by the time that I had finished reading it, I really thought to myself, can I deny any, any single principle within this book? Like, is there anything in this book that is not true, or that 
I can raise doubt about. I had already gone to all the anti-Islamic websites as well, where they point out the so-called mistakes of the Quran, um, which are very easily explained even to a non-Muslim. Uh, even just using an atom's worth of intelligence, you can easily dismiss all of these um, claims. So, basically, I went to the Imam, and I told him that I've read the Bible cover to cover, and I've read the Quran cover to cover, and I want to be a Muslim. And so then I took my Shahada. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashadu an Muhammadin Rasulullah. Peace. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar